Coming up on Around Kern County, Animal Services is hosting a series of programs this month for residents and their pets. We're sharing how you can get involved and sign up. And if you're looking to join our workforce, we're highlighting an upcoming event that will help you join our team. We're sharing details on our inaugural Career Expo when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. Kern County Behavioral Health and Recovery Services is helping residents on their road to recovery. Here's a look at how their department is supporting Kern County families and their loved ones. I have to say that the family and support is vital to uh, a client's success in their recovery uh, journey. The more support that they have surrounding them, the better the outcomes will be. Recovery means to me uh, try, trying to, to be more productive in, in society in contributing instead of always taking, you know, contributing to the welfare of, of other people to the best, to, to, in, the, in the limited way that I can do. When we talk about family, it's not just family. It could be a close friend that is gonna be there for them through the journey. It could be a pastor in a church. It could be a teacher. It could be really anyone, someone they work with that's gonna be there and support them and wants to be a part of the recovery. My recovery means that, that I'm, I'm able to, um, to give to other people who may be less fortunate than me. So because I, I've, I've been blessed with a lot of good people in my life or good organizations. And so if I can give something back, I'm, I'm willing to do that. Hope and recovery is never giving up and having a desire to get better. When you're surrounded by your loved ones, and your support people in your life, you can achieve your goals. You can overcome your obstacles. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Calling all pet owners and want to be pet owners. Kern County Animal Services is hosting a series of programs this month for you and your four-legged friends. If you're looking to expand your family, Animal Services has teamed up with NBC and Telemundo stations to host a Clear the Shelters pet adoption campaign throughout the month of August. Right now, all fees are waived in the adoption process at participating shelters and rescues, and all you need to do is adopt and donate. If you're already a pet owner, Animal Services wants to help you keep them safe. They're holding low-cost vaccine clinics and spay and neuter events throughout the month of August through September. If you're interested in participating in their spay and neuter program for unincorporated residents, you can sign up online. Copays for dogs and cats two months of age are $20, and copays for dogs three months to seven years old are only $40. For more information and to sign up, please visit kerncountyanimalservices.org. Residents in East Bakersfield are celebrating the completion of new sidewalks and bike lanes in their community. Kern County Public Works recently finished $2.5 million worth of upgrades on the Virginia Street Pedestrian Path Project. This renovation includes one and a half miles of sidewalk and bike lanes, which run between Williams Elementary School and Heritage Park along the Virginia Street Corridor. These improvements will help make this area safer ahead of the new school year. This project was made possible thanks to a $2.17 million Caltrans grant, which was awarded to our county. If you're looking to join our team, we're hiring. From public safety to social work, there's a place for you here in our organization. As public servants, our nearly 8,000 employees dedicate their time to making our community a better and safer place. On Saturday, September 17th, you'll get a chance to get to know our workforce at Kern County's inaugural Career Expo. Our dozens of departments will be set up at our Kern County Administrative Building, promoting their current job openings and offering on-the-spot interviews. All you need to do is join us and decide the career path you want to take. 
We are hiring for a variety of positions. Of course, everyone thinks safety when they think the county, but we also have a lot of trade positions. Mechanics, plumbers, painters. We also have office service positions, as well as professional positions, such as engineers, attorneys, and accountants. Well, kind of like doing a day in the life of a county employee, other departments will tell you what positions they have available. For more information about this event, just visit our website, kerncounty.com. And we're ending today with a quick look at what's ahead. Kern County leaders are holding a series of educational workshops throughout our area about the unincorporated public safety, vital services, and local control measure, which would establish a one cent locally dedicated and controlled sales tax in unincorporated Kern. Chief Administrative Officer Ryan Alsop, Chief Operations Officer Jim Zervis, Sheriff Donnie Youngblood, District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer, and Fire Chief Aaron Duncan will be in Lake Isabella on Monday, August 8th, and Golden Hills on Thursday, August 11th. Both meetings kick off at 6 p.m. For more information, check out our website, kerncounty.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.